Alright guys, I'm in Rapid City, South Dakota. <laughs> I'm at Eagle Rider Rentals right now. This is the first time for me renting a bike. Never done it before. Smallest bike they have, low rider. I think mine's a 2019. And yeah, this is gonna be a whole different experience for me. I'm not not used to this. So I'm debating on where to go first. And I'm thinking Mount Rushmore. All right, I'll get there at 11. Okie dokie. Let's get on this bike and ride. It's getting flipping hot. Oh, it's locked. Dang it. All right, and she told me which key to use. Hopefully I remember. This one. So many bikes out here already. It's crazy. It's definitely low. Reminds me of the fat boy. Definitely gonna take some getting used to. All right, I got 250 miles to go. Hey, am I shaking? Why am I shaking? Oh my gosh, I gotta get used to mid controls. Okay, we're off. <laughs> Thank God for turn by turn navigation on my thing. I don't have a mount system to know where the hell I'm going. Green means go. Not gonna lie, this is pretty fun. Alright, so first stop is gonna be Mount Rushmore. And then I think I want to try the Needles Highway. Right off the bat, because I think that's one I really, really wanted to do, and I want to make sure I do it. And then I may head up to may head up to Spearfish Canyon, go through Deadwood, if I have enough time. Like I think it's only like a 45-minute drive to Mount Rushmore, but still, it's already 11, almost 11 o'clock. So hopefully, I've given myself enough time. We shall find out. But yeah, welcome to South Dakota. This morning I drove through the Badlands in my cage, but it's still really cool. So I ended up staying the night there at the National Park. Woke up, the sunset, and the rock formations. It was awesome. Spent some time just hanging out, enjoying breakfast there. And then, of course, as you do, like, not the loop, but the road through 
um, through the Badlands, it takes you into Wall, South Dakota. So I stopped there, of course, at Wall Drug Cafe, got myself some breakfast, and then realized, I was like, oh shoot, I got like a half an hour drive all the way up to Rapid City, and I was about a half an hour late for my rental already, which stinks, because that's half an hour that I could be riding. <sighs> I got distracted at the dang touristy trap. Couldn't help it. I don't even know. Oh, I'm in fifth. It tells me. Look at that. That's fancy. Man, all these perks. Keyless. <laughs> I think it's got a Milwaukee 8 in it. I believe it does. It is definitely comfortable. Some of the guys joked that with me riding this low rider, I'm not going to want to go back to my sporty. Oh, and also FYI, Rapid City does not do um, sports to rentals. Even though Eagle Rider says that they have them available, they do not. <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to renting a 1200, but I guess that's not an option. The low rider is a little outside of my comfort zone. I mean, I've ridden my fat boy, but my fat boy has freaking risers that are, has a riser that's like 20 inches high. So for me, this is just, it's nice to be able to control at more of my leisure. Getting used to the mid controls, they're really not that bad. It's just, I'm used to putting my feet out a whole lot farther. So I'm here on a Wednesday, Wednesday before Sturgis. I'm not sure how bad it's gonna be as far as people. So my goal is to get here a little bit early, rent the bike. Unfortunately, I couldn't rent it for two days, which kind of stinks. Um, I had it of tentatively rent confirmed. But they were able to get me in for today and not for tomorrow. So it, today is my only day to ride, which I'll take it. Alrighty, Mount Rushmore. It's a cool looking bridge. Have any of you guys rode this before? First timer here. First time on a new bigger bike, riding in new states that I've never been to. <laughs> I'm all about the new experiences, I guess. I like pushing myself out of my comfort zone and this is an incredibly fantastic way to do that. I'm not sure where I'm gonna end up tonight. <laughs> I am normally a planner through and through so like for my iron butt, which I just published on this channel recently, I had every single gas stop planned out, which I kind of had to because I had a Sportster. And after 100 miles, uh, I can only probably push it like 20 more and that's it. So I planned out every single gas stop and when I was going to be there, which was really nice to make sure I could complete it in time. This go around, I am just winging it <laughs> like even today I got on the bike and I was like all right where do we want to go <laughs> there's so many options it's almost overwhelming to choose from but I went with my list so I created just my like bucket list of things that I wanted to see and wanted to do and um Badlands was one of them a couple of the trails and the overlooks at the Badlands so I did that today just in my little Kia this morning and wall drug was one of them what else is on that list Ooh, far in a tunnel I'm such a dork miners gateway tunnel cool sweet I'm excited to go through needles highway I've watched YouTube videos of it 
and to go through that little a little one-way tunnel looks super fun but this is amazing my hopes is just to really get to know some of the like some of the good roads to ride and then my husband and I will definitely definitely be coming back out here for it not sure if we're gonna ride out here or rent we shall see Ooh, we're at 20 miles an hour okie dokie that's fun <laughs> $5 parking. No, thank you. All right, we're in historic Keystone. That's a lot of freaking people. Oh my gosh, no thank you. Thank you, you too. I can do this with a bike. <clears throat> can you see it? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not sure. It's probably like this really little. Super fun nice because I didn't actually have to pay because um, active duty military is free so there you go it was normally ten dollars and had a pretty decent amount of um, shaded parking too for the bike and all the other bikes it was a cool experience I didn't want to stay too long just because I don't want to linger I want to ride so yeah oh my gosh this is awesome. I can see why so many people want to come out here and ride. All right, next stop for me is Needles Highway. And I might come back on the other side of it too. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh, there's a tip. I'm gonna stop and take a selfie. Everybody's got the same idea. It's so cool. These rock formations are just massive. Like, I don't know if you can see that way up there. <laughs> Not gonna lie guys, I'm getting pretty comfortable with this bike. No, I'm not upgrading. I'll be renting for a couple more years. I do not want to take out a loan on a bike, so that is that. I'm not 
not sure how fast I should be going. I have to take this to 16 and then 16 right away to the Needles Highway. We are in Black Hills National Forest. Wrinkled rock climbing area. Nice. This is so cool. Oh, to have like an adventure bike in this, that would be epic. So cool. Sorry guys, if you've seen this before, it's probably not as exciting. But for someone who has not experienced this at all, or any type of riding like this, I am just, whew, I'm gonna sleep well tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> this is cool. Vultures and a fox. 